Hello my friends, my name is Dancraft73 and welcome back to another episode of One Man, One Mod, where we're trying to learn everything that we can about Astral Sorcery. For some reason I always want to say advanced something, but Astral Sorcery is the name of the game. Hey, I just got done running around in the mines, grabbing a little bit of diorite so I could finish out our roof here. And I think I got 24 pieces of... That should be more than we need. Perfect. I love that. Okay. Um, we have all this stuff up here, which is not ideal, but I think the altar still works. Everything still works the way that we want it to. Uh, we don't really have any more torches. Well, we can make some if we need to. All right, let's go downstairs, though. Because, I mean, not downstairs, downstairs. I just want to go down here. Um, I do want to go through and eventually get all of this snow up off the ground because I think it looks kind of junky like that but if we clear it all up it's gonna look awesome in here yeah like get all that out of here get out of here snow all right and we go along this edge and we get this okay so I mean I can do this whenever I mean I can I don't know I really can't <laughs> I can't shovel st snow and chew gum at the same time or whatever I can't walk and chew gum no I can't shovel snow and talk so let's talk about what we're gonna work on today so we have these three sort of fields and it's getting up uh, coming up on nighttime so I think what we want to do I mean we've built we've built stuff right we built the telescope right which allows us to find stuff um, says tuning yourself should make it easier to attract and trace these okay so let's read a little bit discovering constellations is nearly the same as with the looking glass a clear view of the night sky without obstruction is required it's only possible to look at one section of the sky at a time but rotating the telescopes facing with the arrows on the left and right shifts the field of view drawing outside the telescope frame or rotating the teles telescope erases all dry and drawn lines Hints of new kinds of constellations seen within the telescope now appear that are more dim and further away than the major bright constellations. Attuning to them might not be possible, but there should still be enough starlight to create crystals that focus that light. Attuning yourself should make it easier to track and trace these dim constellations. Okay, so we have that. All right, we know how to, like, do this. Okay. Well, gaining new knowledge is certainly important. Recording said knowledge to preserve it for others or possibly other civilization remains. Yeah, okay, so that's how to make these things, but we can find them in the shrines, which is what we've been doing. I mean, everything's been working like we want to. So next up, I think, alignment charge. Okay. We made, we made this stuff, right? These different wands. We did that. And now it's time, I think. Crafting things with starlight and liquid starlight is fine, but it seems to neglect important parts of the starlight spectrum along with the mundane starlight of various individual stars. Light given off by specific constellations has a much more distinct effect on their environment and those in contact with it. One constellation's light seems to push things in random directions. Another one instead endows great strength. It may be possible to filter the starlight of a specific constellation or just collect enough in one location to amplify its strength. A structure designed for attunement would need to deviate from traditional starlight structures, such as the crafting altar. It would also need to be much larger in order to sufficiently gather enough collective starlight emitted by a single constellation. So this is what the attunement altar looks like. So we need some stuff, right? Uh, not too bad. Such a collection, such a blanket collection method would require additional focuses for starlight within the structure itself using relays, channeling it to a central point. The placement of relays needs to be deliberate as they will determine which constellation the altar can attune with. The constellation papers can serve as a visible guide to the placement of the relays if held in hand under the night sky. Ooh. The final piece of the structure is a special altar that can serve as the focal point. Okay. So this is how big this thing needs to be. I mean, it's a monster, right? Oh, my goodness. Once everything is properly arranged, the central altar and the relays will start glowing as bright blue starlight streams through them. The only real question about that remains, what types of objects can readily accept attunement? 
What about... Okay. Okay. So, we need to start messing around with some attunement stuff. But before we do that... Um, is it nighttime yet? Yeah, it's getting to be nighttime. All right, I'm going to spend a little bit... I mean, well, we could do it together. Why not? It's only going to be a few more minutes. I'm just going to clean up all this snow, get it out of here. Then we can let it mostly all despawn, I guess. We don't have to worry too much about it. I just want it to be out of our little living area. Because our living area is super cool now that we've got a roof on. Okay. Uh, I do need to go see... Let's run downstairs real quick and see how we're doing as far as raw materials because I have this bad feeling that we do not have enough marble. And if that's the case, I may have to go on a mission to go grab some more. So, uh, I don't know. Let's see what we've got. Uh, so, 220. Yeah, that's a ton. I mean, we may be close. I think we probably do have enough. What I'm even more worried about, uh, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we'll be okay. I think so. So I think we can do that. Um, I do want to see... I'm hoping that I see some more of these constellations in the sky. Like, this is the one that we made. Visio. That's like speed. We have Avitas, Decidia, Armara. So I hope and, I'm hoping tonight we can see one of these constellations in the night sky. We can learn how to trace it. And then we can figure out what it does and which one we want to be attuned to. I mean, I think that's the key, right? Okay, so let's go over here. Let's hop into our telescope. Okay. All right. That looks like something, doesn't it? Like this, maybe? Okay, that's... <laughs> Alright, let's look at our book real quick. Okay, Constellations. It's not this one. It's not that one. I don't think it's that one either. Okay. Let's turn. I think this is something. One, two, three. Is it this one? Could it be a Mara? I don't know. I mean, maybe. Let's go look here at this again. So it's like this. So there's a triangle. Okay, maybe. I don't know. Alright, so this... Could it be this one? Must not be it. That's how I. Oh yeah, that, that is it. I think. I mean, isn't that it? So it's like this. Okay. Right, and then this, and this is a triangle. We shouldn't draw it right. We gotta get this done before it gets to be daylight. <gasps> yeah, okay, we fit. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, and this is something too. 
this. I know exactly what that one is. That's this one. A Vetus, I think. Okay, let's see. So it's like this, and this, and this. It's like this, and that, and then like that, and that, and then like that. I'm missing something. Maybe that's not it. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. Yeah. A Vetus. Okay. Ha ha ha. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't think that's anything. There's this. Okay. Constellations. This one? Is it this guy? Decidia. No, I don't think it's this one either. That's like something, that's like a square. Yep, I have a feeling that we maybe haven't discovered that one yet. Okay, but that's okay, because we did find this one. Being exposed to focused light of this constellation will, fl will flowers and plants nearby. Being exposed to focused light of this constellation will flowers and plants nearby nearby will cause flowers and plants nearby to flourish and greatly increase their bounty. Okay. Oh, this is regen. Okay, nice. All right, and we've got this one. A repulsive force pushed away from the light of this constellation will, much like a shield or protective barrier. Channeling this repulsive forces that emit from this light into the near area creates a small force field reflecting projectiles and pushing mobs outside its range. Okay, okay. And then this one. Oh, wait, no. Okay. Oh, look at that. They're in the night sky. They should be. Okay, that one's setting. <laughs> it's so cool. I mean, this is like a big... This is really weird, this guy. Um, I don't think there's any more. I think we need to come back tomorrow night. I mean, this is something for sure, but I can't see what the pattern is. I mean, I don't think it's this one. No? All right. I mean, I don't know what that is. Okay, but we've, we found a couple, which is pretty cool. So now I think we just need to find a spot where we can build our attunement altar now that we have these crazy constellations in the night sky. I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, this might be as cool as it gets right there. I mean, you have to agree, right? I mean, it's starting to set, obviously. But, like, that guy's still, like, high in the night sky. The other one, I think, is already over the edge. Because the sun's coming up. <laughs> I mean, so far, I think I would like to attune myself to that, the fast one. The question is, where do I build the attunement altar? How far away can it be? And, like, what's the story? Right? So I think what we're going to do is we're going to build the attunement altar... Oh, goodbye. Awesome things. Oh, man, I love it so much. <laughs> I mean, I was thinking maybe we could build it over there. But I'm afraid that's going to be too far away. I don't know what the range of attunement is. 
I mean, the other thing that we could do is build like things. I mean, we don't have any of the materials that we would need. Like build like wings, because this is where our altar has to go here in the middle, because our altar is going to increase in size. So if we look here at attunement, um, at some point, and I don't know exactly when, but we have like these rituals and stuff like that. Um, we have these other gems we need to look at, but there is a new altar that we're going to have to build at some point in the near future. We haven't unlocked any other of the cool areas. That's discovery, that's attunement, and that's exploration. Yeah, so we're not there yet. So we've done most of all this stuff that we need to here. Yeah, I think it's time to build an attunement altar. So let's get that done. The only big question I have is how far away from our base can we build it and still get the benefits of said altar. Maybe we should build it over... I think we're going to build it right over there. So let's head on down. And let's start crafting the pieces parts that we need. While it's daytime. I mean, that makes sense to me. We That we would build this stuff sort of during the daytime. And we're going to put it right up there. Okay? Alright. So let's go take a look at our attunement altar. And see what we need to build. So we got to go back here to attunement. Okay, this is what we need. So obviously we need to build this. Um, we need to build a spectral relay first. Um, spectral relay. I don't know how to build a spectral spectral relay. I don't know why it didn't show up in the book. All right, so this is engraved marble. I mean, it's super easy to build it, okay? We have a little bit of gold. We have glass. We have whatever else we need, planks. Then we just need some marble. Okay, so first of all, let's go right over here, and let's get rid of this, 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 that, that, okay? Get rid of all that snow. Okay, so let's start building pieces parts. So we have that. That's a, just any type of marble. So it doesn't really matter what kind. And then we just need a little bit. Uh, we need a glass lens. Okay. Yeah, we know that we can use aquamarine. I mean, I have a feeling we're going to need a couple of these guys. How many can we build? Six? Yeah, we can build six. Let's do that. Glass lens. We need a little bit of wood. We have it. Okay, let's go back up top. Yeah? Alright, so we're going to build a couple of these glass lenses. And then we should be able to make... Oh, we didn't bring gold with us. Let's grab some gold. Um, two pieces should be enough. I have a feeling... I'm not 100% sure, but I have a feeling we're going to need a couple of these spectral relays. See, that's what it is, right? Yeah. So, can I not... Yeah. Alright, so let's go see what we can do. Let me see. What else do I need for spectral relay? Nothing. Okay. So let's head on up here and see what we can end up with. So we already know that the that if we go like this and then like that, right? And we hit this. That's going to make a whole bunch of lenses for us. Okay? And then we should be able to go spectral relay. So that's so we can go like this and like that. These guys and go like that and like that. And then just any kind of marble in the middle. And I don't know if we can make these. Oh, maybe. Okay. Okay, we've now made... This is... So the altar just has to recharge a little bit. Okay. All right, so now we have five of these spectral relays. We could make a couple more if we had the pieces parts, but we don't have the stuff. So let's grab these out of here. Okay, so now we have that. Let's go back to here and then look at this guy. Okay, so we have to go back down. This is rune marble. We know how to make that. We just have to go grab it. So let's head on back down. I think I want to do like the movement one. I mean, doesn't that make sense? 
That makes us go like skating around all fast and stuff. That might be the way to do it. All right, do I have any ruined marble in my marble storage? I do not. Okay. So, ruined marble. Oops. Like so. Um, it's just a chiseled in the middle and then like some regular. Okay, so let's go make some ruined marble. So we'll go like one, two... Okay, there's six of those. Perfect. All right. Uh, all right, so we need two-star metal. We need a uh, crystal. Yeah, we need one of these. We need one, two of these. And what's the last thing? That's it. Right, that, that. Oh, and we need a couple aquamarines. Okay. All right. So I don't think I can make this, though, um, before it gets to be tomorrow. Now, uh, one of the things that I need from you guys is if you know how these attunement things work, I'm going to just admit to you, I don't know how they work. I'm not trying to be somebody that I'm not. Um, it's just the way it works. Okay. So let's see if we can remember if we, <laughs> see if we can build this thing. So like this and this, like that. Okay. These guys go up here. These guys go like right here. This crystal goes there and this goes here. Yep, that's the right deal. Okay, so we're gonna need a lot more light. We're gonna have to wait till nighttime comes um, comes up on us, and then we can do that. Okay, that's okay. We'll come right back up here and do that. We'll just leave those guys sit there for a minute, and then we should be able to come back up and click on them in a in a few minutes whenever it gets to be nighttime. But let's start putting together the pieces parts for this crazy altar, and man, it's a big one. That's for sure. Okay, so this tells us what we need right here so we need four ruined marble and we have two so we got to make a couple more so that's not a problem this goes in the middle this and this goes like that and we have that so we now we have the rune marble can i get rid of some of this stuff do i have any stuff in there that i could cook with yeah why don't we go like so there okay put that over there put that away put that away and that away for now. Okay, so that's we have the rune marble now. Uh, we need 80 marble arches. So which ones are marble arches? These. Okay, so marble arch. That is made by three regular marble. Oh my goodness, that's going to be a truckload. Okay, so if I go like this, that gives me 70. All right, so that's 74, so that's 82. I mean, that's just how much I have to make. Okay, marble, 12 marble pillars. Got those, okay. We need four chiseled marble. Now we don't have any ch chiseled marble because we've used it all, we have two. So let's take a look here how we make that. Chiseled marble is ruined. Hmm. No, just any marble, okay. Let's go here and do, okay, so we have that now, right? Yep, and then we need 225 sooty marble. I mean, is this so, is that, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. All right, let's do this, and let's see what happens. So we put this in the middle, and we go like so. That's 64. Do I have any more sooty marble laying around? No. Okay. So we got to keep on keeping on. So there's 64. So there's 128. I want to say like whatever, 190 something. Okay. 128. So let's be 188. 194, we need 225, okay, so, I want to say that, 194, 
You no good. What? Hmm. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, no. That is not good right there. Oh, dang it. I hate this game. <laughs> oh, pick that back up. You get away. Okay, you go down here. Whatever. Creepers, man. I'm just... this. That, that Those guys got me before. Oh, that was the stuff that was in here. Okay. All right. We did not get our other... Do we have wood? Oh, there's that other constellation. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Let me just dump... Keep this out. I don't know why that was doing that. Okay. We're going to put all of this stuff away. Including that. Now we should be able to go over here and do that and get all of our stuff back. And we can go like so, and we can go like so, and like so. Okay. Okay, it's getting to be nighttime. Oh, dang it. That irritates me. I can't even tell you. All right, I think we have enough of this. I think we have everything that we need. Um, what we need to do is, since it's getting to be nighttime, uh, where's, where did we put that constellation paper? Here, this guy. Okay, put that in our deal. Okay, let's go upstairs. Uh, I know we're getting sort of long in this episode. Man, I hate those creepy. I've died how many times in this episode? And like three or four of them have been from those dumb creepers come rolling in the door, blowing us up. But that's okay. Okay, now it's nighttime. Stuff's rising. Yeah, it's so cool. I love it so much. Okay. So now we have two new constellations that we can find. So we have, uh, we need to find Decidia, right? And Evorcio. And then we can see what those guys are. So let's take a look at our deal. Okay, nothing there. That one we already know about. That doesn't look like anything. That doesn't look like anything. That one's we already know. I mean, I think this is something... It's hard to tell. I mean, this one is something. Oh, wait a minute. Is this this one? Yep. Yeah. Oh, he's up there. I love that. I mean, I just love it. <laughs> I can't keep... I can't stand it. Look, there's that one. That guy rising. Oh, man. Come on. How amazing. Okay. Let's see what this one does. Okay. Avorcio. Shattering and destructive, the piercing light of this constellation forces its way through most solid materials. Dispersing the light of this constellation in its focused essence with a ritual causes thorough destruction and disintegrates any solid blocks nearby. All right, I'm not sure exactly what I want that for. So what I really want is the city. I want this last one. I want to find it. All right, let's go around. Okay. So I don't think we have anything yet. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and sleep through the night because I would like to get this altar up and running if I possibly could before I do anything else, uh, before we end this episode. So if we get this altar built, that would be... A oh, oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. we got to go back up because we got to do this crafting exercise, right? We have to craft this guy. And then hopefully we'll be able to make this, this, alt this piece. All right, so let's go here. Okay. Oh, it's amazing. Look at that. 
Okay, so we made the attunement altar. Since we're back up here, let's look really quick. Because it's more like night. Yeah, I don't think that... I, I think that some of these... Are just not super bright. Okay. Look at that. Oh, man. It's so amazing. I mean, I could literally just, like, hang out and just be like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's uh, do here. And let's get rid of this. Yeah, remove that. Because, you know, we died and stuff. All right. So let's go back down. And we're going to sleep through the night. And then we're going to go build this altar. See if we can't figure it out. I think it's a monster. Um... We may have to clear a little bit of that mountain out, but let's go and sleep through the night first. So we did good. We found three um, constellations tonight. Man, I love that. Okay, so let's go here. And... and get rid of some of this stuff. Oh, I don't know. We might need those. I don't know. Ouch. Okay, that guy's dead. Oh my goodness. So I don't even know how big this altar is. Nor do I know if this is close enough for us to get the effects. There's a creeper right there. Just hopping himself up this hill. Okay. So I think we need to at least get this level down. Man, we're like professional constellation finders. I don't care who you are. That's awesome. I feel like bad things are going to happen to us. <laughs> oh, man. All right, uh, Mr. Sheep, you need to roll out of here. I don't want to make you into dinner, so I'm going to give you the opportunity to roll on out. Okay, just roll on about your business. Go down there. Good job. You need to do the same. So I'm about to go a little build crazy up here. Okay, so now I'll put these down like this, and maybe we can... I mean, we'll extend what we need to. All right, let's get this thing built because we're getting long in this episode. We don't want to go all crazy just because we, we can't commit. What would I say? I'm not messing around with you dang sheep. Okay, all right, so let's look at our book real quick. Attunement. Oh, what is that? Oh, the block transmutation. Okay. All right, so this is what we're going to build. I don't really know how big it is. I mean, how big do you think that is? <laughs> I mean, is it 20 on a side? So what do we get? We had... Why, why did you go away? I'm building this thing. Okay. Let's go here. 80 marble arches. Okay. So...
So if I say 1, 2, 3, 4, oh. so this is what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if I have 80, 80 marble arches, divide that by 4, right? So this is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, okay. So it's 20 on a side. Fourteen? I think it's fourteen. Let's try fourteen. Let's do this. Let's see what happens here. So if we go, I don't know where we need to pick it, doesn't really matter. As soon as close as there as possible. So if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay. Oh, where did that creeper come from? trying to build this thing. Ridiculous game. <laughs> okay. This is 80. So now this goes like 1, 2, 3. Like this. Right? So this is 14? That feels much too big. No, I mean, that might be right. Let's see. All right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then we do like this little jaggy thing, right? Like so. I mean, I don't know if this is right or not, but I mean, it feels like it might be. Let's go over here, like this, okay, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, oh no, not that stuff, this, one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then we go like this. No. No. Okay, and then we go like this. I think that's right, right? Wow, that's huge. That's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Well, okay, so then I guess the real question is, this will be the right size. I know we're getting long in this episode. If all of this sooty marble fills this thing up. What are you doing up here? I know this episode's getting really long. I mean, we had to do constellation stuff, right? We had to. It was super cool. Well, it is what it is. You know, I'm making up for lost time. We didn't get to play Minecraft for a couple days, and now I'm all like, <laughs> making like 45-minute episodes, trying to get this altar done as soon as we possibly can. All right, let's go across around here like so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't. I think that's how much it needs to be. I mean, I think this is the right size. I mean, we'll know, I guess, here in a minute. All right. So what's next? Okay. So next is.
Okay. Now it's ruined. Oh, man. Do we not bring our ruined marble with us? Dang it. All right, let's head down quick. We have our pillars. Yeah. And I think we have everything else. Let me just make sure. Chiseled. We don't have chiseled, I don't think. Yes, we do. Okay. All right, come on. Let's go get this done. Wow, this thing's massive. I'm hoping that it, it's the right size. I mean, we sort of guessed a little bit, but I mean, I guess we'll see. All right, so now in this hole goes this. Okay, so this stuff goes like this. Okay. It's getting to be nighttime. I'd like to get this done before then so we can end this episode. Good grief, man. We've been messing around for a while. I want to go do more... <laughs> more of those things, but I'm not. Okay, and then how many arches? Tw so, okay, so these are going to be three high, these guys. All right, so one, two, three. And then they're going to be topped with something. Chiseled, okay? So, chiseled, no, yes, goes here. Okay. One, two, three. Chisel. One, two, three. Chisel. Eat something. Oh, I love those things. Okay. And then one, two, three. And chisel. Okay. And then this guy goes in the middle. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh, I don't think it's that's right. What's where's the middle then? Yeah, that's not right. This whole side's wrong. It needs to go one more block. Those are 15. I think. Those are 15 on the side. I mean, we have a little bit more of Marble Arch. So if I extend... Yeah, okay, i tell you what. Let's end this episode. Um, I'm going to figure out the exact dimensions. And then tomorrow's episode, we're going to come back and build this thing the right way. I may even have it done, but it's probably something we need to do together to make this the exact size. I don't think this is right. I think it needs to go one more block that way, which we will do tomorrow. Man, we did good work today, though. We've got some cool constellations in the sky that we didn't have before. And we started our attunement altar. We will finish it tomorrow. So until then, please remember to be cool. Don't be a fool. And from my One Man, One Mod series, where we're trying to figure out everything that we can about astral sorcery, I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.